reloading is an economical way of providing ammunition for your rifle. And because hand loads are potentially more accurate than factory loaded ammo, you can customise your loads specifically for your rifle and its purpose, be it hunting or target shooting. Above all, reloading is easy and safe, and for many shooters, an enjoyable and relaxing pastime. Almost every centrefire cartridge can be reloaded. While dies and cases for some obsolete calibres are still around, they may be harder to find. Ammunition consists of the cartridge case, the primer, the powder or propellant, and the bullet or projectile. The cartridge case, or brass as it's called, can be bought new or sourced from firing off factory loaded ammunition. Be careful buying second hand cases though, even those labelled once fired. I prefer to use new brass because I know where it's come from. Because brass is reusable, keep a record of the number of times it's been loaded and always inspect it closely before each loading session. As the brass grows in the chamber when it's fired, check the case length and trim if necessary. And most importantly, look for splits in the case and neck and signs of weakened brass that could lead to potentially dangerous case separation. Now there's some other things you can do to prepare your cases for loading. And there's dozens of theories about which ones are essential and which ones are not. It's up to you to weigh up the benefits and decide how much time and effort you want to spend on reloading. For instance, using previously fired cases, you can tumble polish them, clean them in an ultrasonic bath, clean the residue out of the primer pockets, and chamfer the case mouth. And the list goes on. There's a wide range of powders available from several manufacturers, as there are bullets and primers. Reloading is all about getting the best bullet, powder, primer combination that suits your needs and your rifle. Now, at this point, you will have to do some research to find the load that suits your purpose. That means a lot of reading and talking to people who are already reloading and preferably using the same calibre that you are. Most manufacturers of bullets and powders publish loading guides to get you started. Reading this information is an absolute must. You need to be safe when reloading and firing your hand loads, so always follow their advice, especially about start loads. Very simply, the steps to reloading your own ammunition are prime the new cartridge case, fill it with a measured amount of powder, and put in the appropriate bullet. Now let's look at that process in detail. Always check the manufacturer's instructions with every piece of reloading gear you buy and make sure it's installed as they specify. The first die you need is the decapping and sizing die. This pushes out the used primer and draws the case back to its original shape. There are two types of sizing die. The full length die sizes the whole case and the neck. The other type of die sizes only the neck of the case back to original dimensions you would use just a tiny amount of lubrication on the case. The second step is to insert a new primer. There are a number of tools you can use for this operation. The third step is to weigh out the powder charge. Alternatively, you can use a powder thrower that drops the powder directly into the case. The final step is to place the bullet in the case neck and push it in to a predetermined depth using the seating die. Use calipers to check the cartridge overall length. Too long and the cartridge may not fit in the chamber or magazine. Too short and it could affect accuracy. Again, reloading manuals have all the information about seating depths. Note taking is an important part of reloading, especially when you're developing or working up a load at the range. There's many things you can change to fine tune your loads for accuracy. Whatever methods you choose to reload your ammo, it's important to develop good housekeeping habits, such as keeping your work area tidy and organised, and avoid distractions. Over time, you will develop systems and routines that will make your reloading easy, enjoyable and safe. This was a very basic introduction to reloading. Read all the information you can get your hands on. Buy the best gear you can afford and develop good habits. And above all, keep it safe. <laughs>